Welcome to our tax and accounting channel. Today, we are going to talk about three ways to get rid of an IRS tax lien. If you owe taxes to the IRS and you want to sell your house, or you are worried about your credit score, this video is for you. I am Gary Massey, a CPA and the owner of a tax and accounting firm focused on the needs of small businesses and small business owners. I help taxpayers to save taxes and to stay out of IRS trouble. Let's begin with a general discussion of what is an IRS tax lien. The first thing you need to know is that a federal tax lien arises automatically 10 days after the IRS demands the payment of a tax. This is called a silent lien because the only people who know about it is the taxpayer and the IRS. If the taxpayer owes more than $10,000 in taxes, the IRS will file a notice of federal tax lien to protect the government's interest in the taxpayer's property against third parties. The notice of federal tax lien is public information. It will be recorded in the land records where the taxpayer resides, the office of the Secretary of State, and the town clerk's office. A tax lien is like a blanket that covers all of your assets, those assets that you have today, as well as those assets that you acquire in the future. And what I find is that the issue of tax liens comes up when somebody wants to buy or sell a house and they go for their credit score. A tax lien will typically reduce your credit score by about 120 points. So that's what gets people's attention. The notice of federal tax lien creates a right to a hearing with an IRS settlement officer. You should take advantage of this right and use your hearing to discuss the lien as well as alternatives to resolve the tax. The hearing must be requested within 30 days of the filing of the notice of federal tax lien. Liens will continue in existence until the tax has been satisfied or it expires. A lien is self-releasing, which means that it will expire automatically once the statute of limitations has expired. Now let's talk about how to deal with the liens. There are three ways to deal with a tax lien. The first is a discharge. This is the sale option. Under a discharge, the lien itself remains in place and one of the assets is discharged from under the lien and then sold to repay the tax. The IRS will be happy to work with you to sell your property so long as part or all of the proceeds will be used to pay the tax. So if anyone ever tells you that you cannot sell your house if there's a lien, that is simply not true. The second option is subordination. This is the refinancing option. Under a subordination, the IRS will agree to let another creditor take priority on a debt. The debt will be refinanced and the IRS gets paid. This is a refinancing option and we typically do this with your mortgage broker or loan officer. And then the third option is withdrawal of the lien. If a taxpayer owes $25,000 or less in IRS taxes and they are in a direct debit installment agreement, they can request the IRS to withdraw the lien. There is one requirement and that is that they have to have made three direct debit payments on the lien before it can be withdrawn. If your tax debt is over $25,000, you can pay part of it off to get to below $25,000, and then you can request a withdrawal of the lien. Now, if you don't do any of these things, what can happen is the IRS can foreclose on the federal tax lien. What that means is the IRS will sue in federal district court to bring its lien down to a judgment and then seek judicial approval to seize the property in an attempt to pay the judgment. Nobody wants this. Therefore, a taxpayer who owns real estate that they would like to keep should work very hard to resolve their tax liability long before it gets to the stage of a foreclosure. I hope you have found this video to be useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. We appreciate that and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not already done so and leave your comments below. If you need more personalized attention, feel free to reach out to me by clicking on the link to our website or by sending me an email. You are also welcome to call my office and ask to speak with me personally. I will do my very best to help you with your situation. For now, I wish you all the best. See you next time.